doc with the Nikiski North Star Elementary um, Boys and Girls Club, uh, 21st Century School. Um, I'm the unit director, and obviously I cannot do our projects and programming at the building at the schools right now, and we still want to connect with your kids. So we got together, and our grant director decided that it would be a good idea, and I totally agree with her, to run some projects from home. And luckily, I have made a couple children of my own, um, Mason and Bo. Mason is 10, and he is in fifth grade at the Nikiski North Star, and Bo is in first grade. Um, and they're going to help us. We're going to make some uh, cool little project to play. It's a triple play slash art slash a little bit of STEM. Um, it's balloon tennis and we're going to make everything from our own tennis rackets to the tennis ball which will be replaced with a balloon. Um, all right, here we go. All right, so I have here all of our materials. Generally, materials um, are provided at the, at the building at the Boys and Girls Club. Um, but because you guys are home and you probably have some of everything and maybe not enough of another thing, I have provided all different types of options for this. The first thing that I'm going to ask that you grab is some sort of paper plate. Um, you can do a flimsy one if you think that's going to be a better tennis racket and you need to think about that as kids. Is it going to work better with a balloon? Um, or you can do a Dixie cup plate, which is a little bit harder. It's going to come at the tennis ball or at the balloon a little bit harder. And how do you think that force is going to work? Um, if you don't have any of these, you can also use a magazine. I don't have magazines because I apparently have become a part of the virtual world. <laughs> I do know I don't subscribe to them anymore. Um, or you can take a piece of cardboard, which I found lying around in my husband's garage, and you can use any kind of circular like a plate or a ball or something like that, and you can trace around and then cut it out. I'm gonna have Mason, who's 10 years old, use this one to create for you guys, and I'm gonna have Bo pick um, whether or not he wants to use the thinner paper plate or the Dixie plate. Looks good, Mason. The next thing you're going to do is you're probably going to want to cut that out. That okay. is thicker, so you need all ten of your fingers for the rest of your life. It's not like teeth. They don't grow back. You are not a starfish, so please be careful. Make sure your children know how to work with scissors. He did a lot of push-ups so that he was ready for this. I'm going to cut that edge off right over there. to the edge, just cut it off. Like, do you see, like, cut all the way there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nope, just cut all the way to the edge. Cut it all the way off. Nope, just cut it all. <laughs> yep. Oh, now we've taken off a chunk of that. See, we're just gonna, we're trying to eliminate oh, yeah. all the little pieces. And keep cutting all the way to the edge and cut off those pieces. Bo, you've made your choice. I assume that you want to hit that balloon pretty hard. kids get a little bit creative with their art projects and they'll ask for things and you never think that they're gonna ask for anything crazy until they do which is almost every other day so I keep scraps like this uh, for projects holiday things like this they turn them into the craziest things kids will turn them into cars and birds and flowers and 
all kinds of things. They build houses with them and habitats from project to project. So paper is always good to use and especially right now, probably best to keep. This is our first run of these projects. So it is actually kind of funny because um, my kids are doing really well. <laughs> very impressed. <laughs> my husband is being very patient, which is all, everyone can relate to that. Okay. So the next part is um, the handle of the tennis racket. Um, and it can be easy, but it also can be difficult. So I'm gonna give you guys some sort of launch for the imagination. You can use paint stirs. If you have paint stirs, if you're like me and you've asked your husband to remodel 75 times this year, uh, you have some paint stirs. Mason preferred that. Um, you can use a ruler if you're a homeschooler or if you're someone who is in um, a period of your curriculum where you are measuring stuff or if you have a carpenter for a dad, and I know some of you do. Um, and if you don't have either of those, Bo, you can choose one or the other. Um, if you don't have either of those, you can also use the cardboard, leftover cardboard pieces, or you can just roll up some thick pieces of paper that you find, um, or you can cut out the front side of a cereal box and you can fold until it's a pretty solid little piece of, um, like a handle. I'm sorry, I'm not good over it. <laughs> or, I, yeah, communication, I did not major in that. Okay, so now you have a handle and it can definitely be used as a tennis racket just the same. You can see they're the same lengths and they're gonna look the exact same. All right, now let's get started. So both of them have decided to use the paint stirs, which is a great idea, because um, those suckers are exactly what you want. Mason's using the handle side to put up, or do you want to use oh, the handle? 